Welcome back to Let's Play Spyro, Year of the Dragon Reignited. I'm Burning Dog Face. And, uh, well, let's see where we left off. In the Haunted Tomb, that's correct. My Lozenge Rapper says, keep your chin up. And so I will. I believe that... Well, surely that wasn't there before. I believe that we have a date with this stupid slide. Oops. Maybe if I did what doesn't make any sense. Uh, no, I want to see if I can make it to that platform, but no, no. Ah! <laughs> To the slide. I try to lean in the direction of the walls, and he inevitably just scrapes along until uh, he gets past it. I uh, made more of an effort to stay in the middle. Oh. No, he always does that right there. Without fail, and you can't jump to, like, Cheat it in midair by turning and. Why did that guy go oomph? I don't damage things just by walking into them, that's the bad guys. Oh, and there's this damn bit here, so you can't... No, no, can't cheat it. Although I am barely moving right now. Maybe that'll help. No, no, I'm accelerating. And once you slide off the edge, he immediately goes into the falling to your death animation, so I can't go to gliding then either. Ugh! Is there a trick to that I'm just not seeing? Oh, right. You know what's noticed? The second projectile he threw didn't actually exist. Oh. No, no, that didn't do anything. Okay, fuck that. When it fails exactly the same way every time, it just feels like I'm throwing good money after bad. And it doesn't even cost me anything. That was a weirdly delayed reaction. That doesn't normally happen either. Perhaps it is a strange day. It's quite enough of you. No, I'm in here now. Okay, okay. Um... But you know what? Here and nice. That makes me feel slightly better. When Enchanted Towers is right there, one of the other levels of the thing in it. Uh... Can 
What is left to do? Uh, the Whack-A-Mole thing and Crystal Islands. Yeah, the slide and a few gems there that are probably just on the slide. Some stuff here at the, uh, the, the Dino Mines, which I think was the last new level we walked into, not including the Bugbot Factory. Yeah, there's a hidden dino in there, too, for, uh, this. Alright. I suppose I should do this one next, because it's the, uh, the last of the skill points I need to get on this one. I do feel like I must be missing an entire category of tricks or something. I have to admit that. Because I don't know how I'm supposed to get a thousand points without repeating any of the, like, five things I can do. That was weird. Oh. Ah, fuck it. Oh, no, that's right. Yes. Well, first of all... And second of all, it's this. Shout out to Shane Reeves, who informed me that, uh... Using this whirlwind... Oops, can, uh... Get me to the skate park much faster than following the path of the level. And what do you know? Looks like it's true. That guy didn't even... How do you miss? It's a hammer! I guess that isn't there when you first get here. Okay. Let me see. I miss anything in that comment or some stuff in there about the skate park. If you just do four big jumps off the ramp and do both forward and back, as well as left roll and right roll, you would get 8,000 at least, as long as you landed it. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I'm just not seeing something. Oh, hey. I'm just riding for fun. That's cool. All right. First, we beat the pants off of, uh... I think you're ready to try Hunter. some one-on-one. -on -one. name? How did Wanna I forget his name? Freestyle competition for points? Hmm. I wonder if this level takes place before that other level, and I did beat the pants off of him. <laughs> All right. Whoever scores the most points in the time limit wins. I didn't even have a jump there. I hit A and nothing happened. Ugh. Right on the top of my head! Crack one of my horns if I'm not careful. Ooh, that timing was good. I'm pretty sure I should have run into that one, but okay. Ah, oh. yeah, that timing was off. <laughs> Maybe the trick is to, aim to use the one that isn't aiming at a raised platform, you know? We're down here. Ooh, that felt good. Right, you can't do that here. Oh, my leg.
Ooh. I just wanted to be on a board when I ran it. out. How did you get so good already? Who knows? Maybe someday you'll even break my course record. Hmm. <laughs> nah. Anyway, I guess I should give you this other egg I found. Hi, Alex. Yes, we're doing this again. You know, I just noticed that for the first time that the teleport effect uh, is shaped like an egg. It just never clicked before. I was on the map. Ow. Yeah, it's not going to work at all. The fuck was that? Okay. Excuse me. Ah, fuck. That's almost perfect. Backwards. Right. Left. No! This one. Ah! Hot damn! Backwards. I don't know how that worked. No, 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 this is just... God damn it! What keeps happening there is I just need to get onto that platform and have enough of a run-up to actually make it to the three towers. But it keeps sailing me through the air when I go off the top of the ramp! That wasn't exactly more helpful, but it, uh... It was funny. Ah! Yeah, there's the fucking trick. What if I build up the speed without it? Okay! 500 points in the first seven seconds. Fuck! I got greedy. I want to see if I could pull off an orange crush. No, not that one. Ah, okay, fine, that one I understood. Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> no! Uh, how did that land? Left. This way. Fuck. Double fuck. I'll show you. 
Well, I broke halfway. That's a nice thing to start with, I guess. Come on. Here we go. Would you stop doing that? Ah! Uh... Now I'm sad. I should not have taken that out on the sheep. Okay, I need to look into this. Well, I've learned a couple of things. For starters, I learned that there's really no excuse for this, because Toys for Bob previously made a few Tony Hawk games. Fuck! That was the one. Yeah. If you can lead from one side of the half-pipe to the other... Where am I? Over there. Then you, uh... Get a cool thousand points, just like, uh, crossing the three towers. Oh. Raging Ripto? Huh. I pulled that one off entirely by accident. I, I looked at the Nasty Nork and Ripto move, saw that one of them had half a roll in it, and I thought, you know what? Fuck that. That sounds way too inspecific for my liking. <laughs> oh, boy. The other thing I learned is that diagonals are apparently a thing. Oh dear, that got really fucked. Yeah, that does seem like it would be easier with the D-pad, doesn't it? Fuck. Still make that. Man, I really wanted that to push it over the edge, the raging ripto. I mean it's like three grand. Lemon, that's a diagonal. Curses. I guess it was a diagonal, as I was forgetting about. And I didn't know about that trick up there. Interestingly, apparently, this is the only map with, uh, you know, course specific tricks on it. That's weird. Is there one of those over there? That would be really convenient. No, I need to get the skateboard up here in order to get that. Dr. Shemp! Hell yeah! I don't even know what that means! No! Dr. Shemp, if you've forgotten, was one of the bosses from the original Spyro the Dragon. He was a witch doctor, which was the part I was not expecting. Fuck! That one is entirely on me. 
I just kind of forgot what I was meant to be doing there. It's like, wait, no, what? All right. Oh, I got a comment at one point saying that uh, the, the baby dragon Shemp may have been a reference to Dr. Shemp rather than having a single baby dragon named after a, one of the Three Stooges. I was kind of hoping, because the other parts of that ramp counted. Ah! Piss drink. Hey, I did line that one up properly. All right. Hey, planet. Hmm. Second attempt since the jump cut. Hell yeah! Ah, fuck. I misaligned it. I also learned an interesting trick. And I think it, has, it finally explains what the fuck the is up with the big ramp. If you don't manually jump on the blue ramps, you can do tricks off the end of them. Holy fucking shit! That really did the one, didn't it? <laughs> I don't remember the last time I actually just said the words holy fucking shit instead of going for something silly and elaborate. Come on, come on, yes! Get it, get it, get it, get it! Booyah! <laughs> Wow, that ramp really fucking did it, huh? I wonder if I can get to the top in time to try it again. Shame they never thought to combine the uh, the skateboard ramps with the uh, with the supercharge. Uh, oh, I got greedy. With the supercharge uh, tracks. Hey. Right. Oh. Booyah! <sighs> and what have you to say now? You can go for the course record now if you want. Whenever you hop on a skateboard, hmm. a timer will start. Score as many points as you can. Okay. The important thing is that I got the skill point. I got skateboard course record two. And I unlocked this art gallery. Yeah, that's the remastered version of the, uh, the original cover art. Uh, I used that as a thumbnail for episode one. Hahaha. <laughs> Oh wow, that was, uh, went that thing on his helmet and made it a straight up, uh, mohawk. Yeah, uh, I looked at it into it, and, uh, Sheila didn't have any hair at all. She had fur, but no hair in the original. And no shirt. She looked quite naked compared to her modern counterpart. Bentley and Sergeant James Bird. Skate Gear Hunter and Bianca. I don't remember that book, but that's pretty cool. TNT Rat, Toucan, Flying Gecko, and Gator. 
I do remember the Toucan Sam looking motherfuckers. I don't remember what level they were from. I also find myself wondering what the hell was wrong with those rats. Gunfighter and TNT Dino. Hmm. I mean, they are pretty good designs. Giant Chicken, which is a weird one that only appeared in the first level. Cow with Sign, Pig Pilot, and Crazy Ed. Yes, it looks like they're protesting. Uh, they were protesting dragons, or at least flying lizards. I never got a good look at the. That flag does raise questions. Princess Amy, Prince Azrael, Cat Wizard, and Cat Witch. I do like that they had uh, the concept art there for Prince Azrael, considering he exi he only appears for like thirty seconds. Egyptian dog, Roman lions, Rapunzel, hummingbird, and bamboo terrace panda. Oh, someone had a comment there about uh, it being odd that uh, Sergeant Bird thought uh, an egg was something else, given that he's, you know, a bird. <laughs> bamboo terrace panda. Frozen Altar Snowman. That's a pretty cool drawing, actually. Can I zoom in on that? No. Flying Beaver. Crystal Bear. Spooky Swamp Mosquito. Haunted Tomb Jackal. And Giant Scorpion. And finally, we've got Baby Dragons! Yeah, I was going to say that's more variety than we saw, but other than the faces, I mean, that's, uh, I do recognize a lot of the props. You know, the horns, the crests, the bows, the glasses. <laughs> All right. Okay, honestly, that was more like the third time because uh, the third attempt, because in my first attempt, I went off that ramp there to try to do the uh, the half pipe jump, and I held A instead of Y to try to do the tricks. It was really embarrassing. <laughs> Thank you, Enchanted Towers. It has been real, but you'll forgive me if I never, ever come back. Oh, hey, it's right here. What? Oh, the thing in the sand. The sand, the grass. Yes. Off we go. All right, I definitely need to call it here. Maybe incinerate some more rabbits. Getting things done. Last time I was here, I could have sworn they respawned really quickly, but... Holy fuck! Yeah, they do uh, reproduce quickly, don't they? This would be a good level for that. But I just got a life, so instead of laying waste to more of them, let's just be off. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Spyro, Year of the Dragon Reignited. We're getting into the tricky bits, but I know we can do it. It's just a matter of getting things done. So we'll do more of that next time. Later!